In the healthcare construction and design industry, we are continuing to see a greater emphasis on reducing our schedules, but at the same time, reducing our costs. And we've really learned that prefab is one of the best ways that we can achieve both of those things without sacrificing quality. The notion of prefabricated bathroom pods is not new to construction necessarily. We've been fine tuning this process for about two decades. As we were looking at this project and we were looking at how the project is a little bit repetitive on some of the upper floors, the bathrooms were a great example and something that we could take off site, build and construct, and then deliver to the project at a later date. To be successful at doing prefab, you really have to start the design process there. So before we'd even done schematic design work, we knew that prefab was something that we wanted to consider for this tower. Um, so at the conceptual stage is when we really started talking about it. GD4, we are the uh, leader of the pod squad. There is a lot of coordination that has to take place with the team, the pod squad itself. So between TD4, Icon, and we, we worked together to produce a model. And that model went into the model for the main project here, the tower job. And so we, we start modeling and working on the design of this almost two years ago. The production of the bathroom pods, the fabrication of the pods, all happens at TD4's warehouse. So Icon and Weiss, who are two stellar partner subcontractors, um, they have crews there, we have our crews there, and we essentially work alongside each other in a controlled environment to produce the bathroom pods. The benefit of doing prefab is that while we're reducing our schedule and reducing our costs, we're actually able to increase the quality of what we're building. We love prefab for a number of reasons. The first is safety. All of the hours that would normally be done here at the construction site in a somewhat chaotic environment is done in a very controlled, safe warehouse type of a setting. And that just leads to better safety for all of the people who are doing the work. When you take that product out of this environment and you build it in a controlled environment, you gain that safety, you gain that efficiency, and it's much easier to manage. It's an assembly line process and there's each step along the way. So essentially what we do is we create templates and we use these stencils essentially to make sure that each and every single rough end is identical, it's the same. We're allowing the team the time to do a really great job of QCing the work before these things ever get put on a truck and come onto the site. And then we have confidence that those are built correctly. Um, there's only a few other items that are not complete when these things show up, but all of the bathroom fixtures are on the wall, the paint, the tile. We have two different types of pods on the project. The ICU floors, we have 56 individual units. And moving up the tower from level eight through 14, we have 224 acute patient rooms and associated bathrooms. Uh, we can get about four to six of these on a truck at a time. They're then craned up into the building, landed on a loading platform, uh, and then rolled into place. Uh, TJ Weiss and the crews over at TD4 have developed a uh, jack system that allows them to roll and then carefully put these things down on the ground. So the next step is to continue all of the wall framing around them. And then really all we have to do is make final connections. That's things like plumbing, some low voltage and nurse call elements, some of the final electrical connections to light these things up and make them usable restrooms. I'm very passionate about this is the wave of the future for construction modular building, prefabrication, and bathroom pods. And I think that sometimes we do ourselves a disservice by calling it prefab because it's really not that simple. And the product that is produced, it's a, it's a greater product than just prefab. That work will never be seen, but it saves a tremendous amount of time and gets us really going here on site. I'm really excited about the progress that we've been able to make. And I know that we're just gonna continue to push to take things to the next level in the world of prefab.